Do you have an overflowing recycle bin? You may make a DIY smartphone projector to motivate young engineers to create products out of recyclable materials. A basic cardboard box has endless possibilities. You can even make a pet feeder out of them. Today, you are going to learn the five coolest homemade gadgets that will blow your mind. So stick around till the end. Number five, magnetic wristband. Here's a simple magnetic bracelet that can help you exercise your ingenuity. If you have children or dogs with you, you don't want to lose sight of potentially harmful pointy objects. You should construct one of these before beginning your next huge DIY house repair project. Wearing a magnetic bracelet can help those who work with tiny nails, screws, and other ferrous items. If you wear a bracelet like this, you won't have to worry about losing tiny objects since you may attach them to your wrist while working. So how do you do it? To verify the size of the sweatband, place a refrigerator magnet on top of it. Then equally position the mini magnets on top of the refrigerator magnet, allowing about a half inch between them. After that, put the magnets in place with contact adhesive. Apply your layer of painter's tape over the now rough surface and press it down to touch the refrigerator magnet between each bump once it has dried. After that, punch little holes in the refrigerator magnet's four corners. Make a tiny incision along with one of the sweatband's edges now. When the band is on a wrist, make sure the rough side of the refrigerator magnet is facing outward. Place a few stitches through each hole in the corners to keep the magnet from moving about within the sweatband. Sew the sweatband closed at the end. Number four, USB charger with battery. Ordinary batteries can be used to charge any device that has a USB charging port, in case you didn't know. This technique might be useful if you are stranded someplace without access to AC power but have a fully charged external battery. This situation is quite common because most rechargeable home batteries use solar panels. If you have a battery with a voltage of more than 100 volts, you can charge all of your friends' smartphones and tablets without emptying your own. With a few components from your local electronics store and a 9 volt battery, you can create your charger. When you glue the battery connector wires to a regulator, then the regulator to the female end of a scavenged USB cable to the regulator, you're finished. Finding a female end of a USB connection will be the most challenging component, unless you just want to chop the end of a cable. Now that we have spoken about how to DIY a charger, we will tell you something cool that you can do with your smartphone, so keep an eye out. Before we continue our list of homemade gadgets, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications button so you never miss any of our content. Number three, pet feeder. You're in luck, cat and dog lovers, since we'll show you two different ways to create a cat or dog feeder. The first project is a cardboard cat food dispenser. Cardboard, glue, and a plastic bottle and bowl were used to create this. Cut two square pieces of cardboard for the base and back, three L-shaped pieces for the sides and divider, and one rectangle board for the slide out of cardboard. Glue the base and back parts together, then the two side pieces and the separator in the middle. The slide should be attached to one of the box's sides. Create a water fountain on the opposite side. The second scenario involves plastic bottles. Two plastic bottles, pet food, and scissors are required for this fantastic cat feeder. On one of the bottles, cut a hole large enough for the bottle mouth. Then make a square hole on the same sides as the first hole. Cut the second bottle in half and fill the lower half with pet food before closing it with the upper half and removing the bottle cap. Your cat feeder is complete when the mouth of the second bottle is inserted into the openings on the first bottle. It's incredibly straightforward and affordable. Number two, smartphone projector. A smartphone or tablet, a shoebox, a magnifying glass, and some common household items may all be used to construct your home movie projector. Several projectors operate with mobile devices on the market, and they may be expensive. Why don't you try making your own? A tiny cardboard box, a magnifying glass or a camera lens, scissors, an X-Acto knife, tape, and a smartphone are all required items. To begin, trace the box's front with a magnifying lens. After that, cut a hole in the box slightly smaller than the trace circle with scissors and a serrated paring knife. Then fold a scrap of cardboard into a phone stand and fix it with tape. Then, at the bottom of the box, place the phone stand under a cardboard flap. Then tape the magnifying glass to the box's interior, aligning the lens with a hole. Finally, place the phone on the stand before closing the box. Now brace yourself, because at number one, we're going to tell you about DIY AC, so continue watching till the end. Number one, homemade AC. 
You could be one of those persons who despises hot, muggy weather, especially while attempting to work inside. The good news is that you can come up with a clever solution to this problem on the cheap. Before you begin, keep in mind that scale is important. A smaller project will be less difficult to execute than a bigger one. A milk carton may be utilized as the intake motor's housing in this configuration. Once you've finished the hack, all you have to do now is put the AC unit on your desk and direct the top opening of the box at your workspace to chill it down. DIY air conditioners may seem to be a low-cost way to beat the heat, but they are a great way to save money. It's just enough to cool down a medium-sized room and keep the heat at bay. Thank you for staying with us. I hope you had a great time watching this video on DIY inventions. Kindly check out our video on the 5 coolest smart buckle watches to track your activity.